when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in the upper room. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. The day of Pentecost ushered a new era in history. The church was born. We are the church. Jesus is the foundation, driven by faith, filled with his spirit, and strengthened by his grace. Not even the gates of hell can prevail against. We do not focus on the failures and the triumphs of the past, but we constantly look forward to the future. With a vision that is God-given, we are moving. We are advancing till kingdom come, turning the world upside down from the upper room until the lost are found. This is, this is where, where we begin. begin. We begin by believing in Jesus Christ. We believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. This is more than religion. This is more than tradition. Our faith is in the one who is risen. This is not for the doubters, see. This is for those who step out of the boat into the open sea. For when two or three gathered in unity, impossibility becomes reality. Faith is our currency. To see, to believe, no. We believe that is why we can see. See as in once we're blind, but now we see. We see miracles every day. We see God making a way. We see cancer being healed, addiction being delivered, family being restored, parent giving birth, signs and wonders. We are moving from faith to faith. For whosoever believes in Jesus will do the works he's been doing and will do even greater. But not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord that is upon us, the Spirit that has anointed us to release heaven into the street, to comfort the brokenhearted, to announce freedom in the prison, to bring the good news to the nation. The same breath that made Jesus alive is the same breath that enables us to believe for more, to pray for the impossible, to tear down every wall, to step into the new, and to conquer the unknown. To love when it's hard to love, to reach those we think we could not reach, to give beyond what is asked, and to give even more, to show mercy and compassion for others, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Yes, we are moving from grace to grace, to be the church we ought to be, the temple of the Holy Spirit, the holy nation, the house where his presence lives, a family of believers, a people, not a building. This is, this is who we are, sons and daughters of the Most High, no longer slaves, no longer orphans, rescued, forgiven, delivered, saved. For we did not receive a spirit of slavery, but the spirit of sonship by whom we cry, Father. We do not belong to those who shrink back, but to those who have faith in our Savior. For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, we will run with endurance the race God has set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So we will take heart and not be troubled. We will not compromise, for even when we are weak, we know our God is strong. We will not be discouraged, for the Lord our God is with us. We will be strong. Until the lost are found, we'll be strong. Until our purpose is done, for the glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house. Yes, 
This is the church we see. We are moving from glory to glory. We'll do greater works with greater power. We see greater miracles with greater anointing. And this, this is our prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Here, now, on earth, as it is in heaven. We dare to believe beyond what we can see. To be filled with the Holy Spirit. And to be strong together as one. Now, we're moving to the year of.